it is 5.30 a.m. on a Saturday and we are driving to the beach for our daily sunrise walk and I tell you what it was hard to wake up this morning we had um Boyd's footy best and fairest last night and I didn't like drink or anything but I went to bed like so late for me which was 10 30 I normally go to bed at 8 30 and then I wake up at like 10 past 5 so I didn't get anywhere near enough sleep and I like literally don't even want my whoop to let me know how much sleep I got today is a massive day in the past Saturday mornings would just be like my super chill gym session, like be nice and short, be fun, be very relaxing. I'd almost like consider 90% of the day a rest day. Now today we are starting my first beach flag session for the season and it's gonna be intense. So now all of a sudden my Saturdays are a double. So it's gonna be a big morning of training. It's like four hours of training. And then obviously I get my rest day tomorrow. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys don't know what flags is, so I'm looking forward to bringing you guys along and showing you. But yeah, Oakley, did you want to say good morning? guys my heart literally sank when my whoop sleep stats came up this morning so I'm like a very big advocate for sleep and especially since getting my whoop like and knowing how much sleep I'm getting like I always need to make sure I'm getting enough and I know that having a late night last night and waking up at five this morning my sleep would be poor but I didn't think it would be this bad so I got five hours 50 I normally get eight so that's really bad and I was in bed for six and a half so I lost 40 minutes which is fair enough because like Boyd came home a lot later than me so terrible sleep stats but I've woken up with 85% recovery either way it's because my HIV is quite high and it says you're in the green despite insufficient sleep this must be due to other positive lifestyle behaviors so that's the positive Otherwise, if I had poor recovery, I don't think I'd be able to do my double session this morning. So we're somehow hanging on for dear life. Um, we just finished our walk. I don't know if the camera picked up, but at the end I did my little breath work, doing it through the Whoop app and I did the increased alertness breath work because I'm a little bit tired and I need that this morning. Um, podcasting, I'm listening to the property prequel. It's a like Australian Gold Coast based like um, property investment podcast because I'm trying to educate myself on that kind of stuff um, and now we're heading home I'm gonna have brekkie and get ready for training it's gonna be a big morning I pretty much got to go straight from flags training to gym and then from gym to a few open house inspections so it's gonna be we'll be home at like I'll have to leave the house at 7 and I'll probably be home around midday or 12:30. So it's going to be a big day and I need to make sure I pack lots of snacks. <laughs> someone just knocked. Like there was a knocking sound on my podcast. I thought there was someone at the door. <laughs> they should get rid of that. one done so flags was very sloppy I felt so unco but I haven't actually done it since March this year so it's been like 
six months approximately so that's okay and now I'm on my way to my second session which is gym I just popped home quickly to change my shoes and grab a drink and I actually don't know what to expect from this session because it is my first um, Saturday session of like a new training block so I don't know how long it's going to take I don't know how hard it's going to be but it looks fun and there's a lot of new exercises on the program so I'm keen not feeling too tired I feel like because I've just been go 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 this morning that I haven't really had a chance to like feel tired but um, I'm running on a lot of caffeine I also to top it off have really bad cramps today but it's kind of one of those days where I've just got to... Let's do it! It is only 9am and we have walked, brekkied, flags. That's it. <laughs> Alright, bye. See you at the gym. to rush out of the gym and meet Boyd at a house like 10 minutes away because we are spending the day doing a heap of um well, attending a heap of open house inspections we're um very excitingly about to buy our first home together so we're on a little bit of a grind like looking at properties around and everything so we just went to one and I'll be completely honest I didn't really like it at all I think I really need to start coming to terms with the fact that the photos online are always going to look a lot better than they do in person. We've been to two places now and I feel like I've been catfished both times, which is like, like obviously the photos are always going to look good, but the places just always seem to look so much smaller than the images. So we're going to another one now. I'm not going to really like give you guys much details in case we actually do buy it and I don't really want the internet to know where I live. Um, but I'm really excited about this one. It looks like a lot better than the other two that we went to, like online as well. So hopefully it's as big as it seems. But yeah, I'm excited and I'll let you guys know how we go. Okay, we just went to house number three and it was definitely my favorite of all the ones we've been to by a mile. And it was like massive photos online did justice. There was like quite a lot of like maintenance that needs to be done so like I feel like I don't know you wouldn't like move in and just be like yep it's sweet you still have to do like put in a lot more money to fix a lot of things in there and also one thing that I've noticed like if the house the person that's living in the house currently has like furniture you don't like it actually kind of like wrecks the house like the house that we just went to like beautiful but the furniture was like making me think that the house was ugly so I've got to like kind of like just ignore that and see through that and just like put our furniture I don't know it's tricky but oh well good learning experience now um, we're on our way to get lunch in Burley and I'll show you guys what I get guys it is one after 1 30 and i still haven't been home yet had the best sandwich at tart if you're ever on the gold coast make sure you go and get the chicken sandwich and add avocado it is like the biggest sandwich i've ever had but it is so good but i'm so full now and then um boy and i went to the whole food shop and we got some treats so i'm going to devour them on the way home and I also got some toppings for my oats they're like the Loving Earth um, chocolate cacao bikinis they're really good and that's where you get them from and then um, now we are dri I'm driving home and we're gonna spend the Arvo by the pool and then we're gonna um, 
to watch the footy. And yeah, it's gonna be a nice wholesome arvo. I think I might also do a sauna this arvo if I can. You guys, I've spent the entire afternoon doing this. And then the sports bras need a little bit of work. I have way too many, but I got these little drawer dividers here. They're from Amazon. Let me know if you want to know where they're from, and I'll link them. But they're the best. They're 